بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر دا ٹاپک کیس جنرل اناٹمی آف دا نروس سسٹم نو یو نو دا ہول باڈی فنکشنز آر بینگ کنٹرول نمبر ون بیکاز آف دا نروس سسٹم اینڈ نمبر ٹو بائی اینڈوکرائن سسٹم بٹ آؤٹ آف دیٹ دی نروس سسٹم از دا چیف کنٹرولنگ اینڈ کوڈریٹنگ سسٹم آف دا باڈی The whole body functions chiefly are being controlled and coordinated by the nervous system. And the nervous system or the nerve cell has special characteristic that the neurons or nervous tissue have the capability to receive the stimuli or information and then integrate the stimuli that is consciously appreciate the stimuli and then make decision according to the stimulus which they that have received now this thinking integration and make decision power is not present in muscle cells or in any other cells this is only present in the nerve cells especially the nerve cells of the brain okay nervous system controls all the voluntary and involuntary functions for example the voluntary function because these movements while the involuntary movements like the movements of the heart the intestine and all these involuntary organs that are also being controlled by the nervous system nervous system has two parts central nervous system cns and peripheral nervous system or pns central nervous system is number one the brain which is contained inside the skull and number two the spinal cord which is contained in the vertebral column these both the spinal cord and the brain these combinedly make the central nervous system but with the difference in their function that the brain the brain which is present inside the skull it has the capability the neurons of the brain have the capability of consciously appreciating the stimuli it is having the thinking power which we call it as sure it it analyze the stimuli properly and it make it it has the capability to make proper decision and this is called but we in urdu called as sure thinking power while the spinal cord is also nervous system central nervous system but the spinal cord neurons has having no capability of the thinking but it is for the reflex activity for example you note one point it will be clear to you that for example urine is being accumulated in the urinary bladder the information from the urinary bladder passes to the spinal cord spinal cord immediately reflexly order to evacuate the urinary bladder that is then the urinary bladder start contraction but at the same time the information from the spinal cord passes to cns that is the brain the brain has thinking power now the brain think over it that whether where the man is sitting is this place suitable for the urination no the brain says no because the brain has thinking power the brain order the external uterus filter that not to allow urine until and unless the main reaches to the proper place this is the difference in reflex activity 
And then there is the paraphilic activity is that, for example, you are keeping your hand. If something pricks your hand, immediately, within a fraction of a second, you withdraw it. This reflex activity is being done by the spinal cord. But later on, then your information goes to your brain, and then your brain tells to your eyes to see what thing or what structure has been pricked your hand, and then think your it. This is the difference between the reflex activity of the spinal cord and the thinking power of the brain. Both are central nervous system. Now this central nervous system is again having whether the spinal cord or whether the brain this central nervous system consists of two types of cells the sensory cells which are functionally sensory they receive the information and the motor cells which are functionally motor neurons these neurons take the information from the sensory cortex and give them then this motor neurons that send this order from the sensory nerve to the organs to act to be acted upon. This is the motor part of the central nervous system. And then I told you that the nervous system consists of two parts: central nervous system, and then the second is the peripheral nervous system PNS. This consists of the nerves coming from the brain. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves coming from the brain and 31 pairs of spinal nerve coming from the spinal cord. These nerves are also some of the nerves are sensory in function. They take information from the periphery of the body to the central nervous system and these are also called as afferent nerves those nerves which take information from the target organs from the skin from the muscles and from the, the the other organs to the cns while the nerves which take the other from the central nervous system to take to the target organ that is to the muscles for example these are being called as motor nerves are also called as efferent nerves. Now, then functionally, the nervous system are again divided into two types, somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system. Somatic nervous system is that the part of the nervous system which is being concerned with the somatic part of the body and being concerned with the voluntary functions and being concerned with the skeletal muscles, the skin, etc. That is all those functions which are voluntary which you can do according to your own will. All this part of the body which is being controlled by the part of the nervous system that is being called a somatic nervous system. While the internal viscera of the human body, for example, the heart, the lungs, the stomach, and the intestine, these viscera, these viscera, which are under the control of the nervous system, but not under the control of your will. That part of the nervous system which is being concerned with the involuntary, with the, with the, with the organs which are involuntary in function or in action, that part of the nervous system that is being called as autonomic nervous system. For example, the heart, the lungs, etc. It's the stomach. But note the point that the heart, the stomach, and all these viscera, these are under the control of the nervous system, but not under the control of your will. 
that is you cardiac fever will can't accelerate the heart or to decelerate the heart but the nervous system according to the need of the body can accelerate or decelerate the heart it is a control of the nervous system but not the control of your will and this autonomic nervous system also consists of the afferent part and efferent part that is the nerves which take information from this viscera to the central nervous system they are being called as afferent or visceral afferent while the nerves which take the motor information the motor orders from the central nervous system to the target organ for example to the stomach to contract or to the stomach to contract these are called as efferent or also called as visceral efferent while in the somatic that is called as somatic efferent or somatic efferent but in the somatic the word sensory and motor is also being used while autonomic the sensory and motor can be used but not more proper more proper is visceral efferent and visceral efferent now these the autonomic and the somatic neurons uh, they are also present in the central nervous system and also present in the peripheral nervous system and we will discuss this in detail later on now the nervous system is being made up of what the muscle is being made up of muscle fibers the the, the bone is being made up of fasciculites the nervous system is being made up of neurons look neurons are the basic functional unit of neurons are the basic functional unit of the nervous system the nervous system is being made up of neurons and the neurons are somewhat above 1 billion or almost up to 130 billion in number but note the point that we say that the wall is being made up of bricks but the bricks are being united with one another by cement so the basic unit from which the wall is being made that is the bricks but the cement is being used just to support or to connect the bricks with one another in the same way the nervous system is being made up of two types of cells number 1 the neurons which is the actually the functional basic unit and this is being also called as excitable cell that is the cell which become excited with information which can stimulate which which can be stimulated with a stimuli which receives a stimuli which can integrate or analyze a stimuli think over a stimuli and can make the decision so one type of cell from which the nervous system is being made that is being called as neurons are also excitable cells and the second one is the supporting cells these supporting cells are called as neuroglial cells or neuroglia these neuroglial cells just support the neurons they do not have the function of the neurons they have nothing to do with it it do not have the receptivity or the integrating function it they just support the neurons and what is the function of that we will deal in later later on in detail anyhow the nervous system is being made up of two types of cells the uh, somewhat above 130 billion neurons and the supporting cells are neuroglial cells okay this is all about the that for today and then in next lecture we will de deal in detail about the general anatomy of the nervous system thank you